All right, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, Boogeyman Sam and Sleepwalker, let's do it. That looks like botched the intro a little bit, but recovered quickly. This is definitely one of my favorite King Gizzard songs, top five, I would say, maybe even top three. I love their more bluesy stuff. And the harmonica on this song is just incredible. Looks like they're doing like finger style picking on the guitars there. Yeah, this song is such a vibe with that harmonica. And we got some nuns in the audience. Lots of people always dressing up for <clears throat> dressing up for King Gizzard concerts. I love it. Transitioning into the solo part. Mmm, I love that. I'm not sure if that's using like a gate pedal or something, or if it's just the way he's picking it. Oh, and you got that nice keyboard in the background, synthesizer. Mm. Yeah, the bass line in the background too. It's love that. It's like it's got a funkiness to it. We got that nice little soft keyboard part there. Fits in real nicely with the guitars and everything. Okay. Ambrose, I feel like he's just improvising on the, on the harmonica here. That sounds great though. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if they just improvised that, because that's... Mmm! That's awesome! Hell yeah! Already, this has got to be one of the best performances of Boogeyman Sam I've ever seen. Nice little guitar licks in the background now. And Ambi is just going off on that harmonica though, holy Pretty sure he's just improvising that on the vocals, too. Almost reminds me of 
on the rhythm guitars there, it sounds like ZZ Top or something. ZZ Top-esque. Hmm, crowd's feeling it. <laughs> We're feeling it. What a treat it would be to see them live. I still haven't gotten that pleasure, but hopefully one day. Hopefully they play lots of their blue stuff when I do. <laughs> yeah, and it's always great how they can transition between that high energy and the low energy, softer parts. Yeah, I wonder how much of this is improvised, because it seems like it's improvised. Which is amazing, too, because it, it's great. It's the Boogeyman Jam. Cookie going hard on the keyboards there too. And what he's playing just fits in perfectly. You know, it's not trying to take the spotlight, it's just playing what need what the song needs. Mm. And he's got the harmonica again. Man, he's in like a flow state. <laughs> he's just, he's just fucking vibing in the zone. It's like that guy too. Honestly, it's jams like this that make me believe they're the most interesting thing in rock right now. If not all music. Personal opinion, but there's nobody like King Gizzard. They'll do something like this, then they'll come out and play a thrash metal song in their next song. Cavs is like, we're still going? <laughs> I think he's amazed that Ambi just keeps improvising all this great shit. For some reason it's reminding me of The Doors. I know it sounds pretty different from The Doors, but... Maybe it's his stage presence. My new Jim Morrison a bit. <laughs> Amy was about to keep going on another vibrant uh, harmonica solo, and Stu was like, "Oh, let's let's go to the next song now." And he's like, oh. This is Sleepwalker. Gives me Beatles vibes. It's a really floaty kind of dreamy kind of song. Sleepwalker, no pun intended. Sleepwalker, 
It's a neat looking guitar that Stu has. I think he's been using that one for a while. I don't even know what kind of guitar that is. He has a lot of cool looking guitars. That's nice. I really like that chord progression. They're really good at using, you know, common chords, but putting them in an interesting progression that doesn't sound too generic, too overused. Now they're going into another good jam here. I love that keyboard. fits perfectly in the background there. I wouldn't be surprised if Stu did the mixes, but again, this mix sounds great. Red Rocks is where this show is, and It'd be a really great place to see a concert. The one downside is you can't really move around too much because it's all seating, but still, it's a, from what I hear, it's fantastic sound. A great place to see a concert. Dude. These guys have lots of really cool guitar licks and melodies. You don't often see often see them doing like a David Gilmore like you know slash top of the mountain solo. It's usually a little more subtle than that, but it works perfectly for their music. It's their style, I guess. Bringing it down nice and soft. One last chorus. Mm. Well, that's going to be it. That's Boogeyman Sam and Sleepwalker from Red Rocks 23. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you're into this kind of content. Let me know what kind of content and videos you'd like to see me react to next. And have a good one. Peace out.